Hey, hey guys, we're gonna do an update video for ATs. So let's start off seeing what's gonna happen in 2022 for them. Okay. Okay, right, please. Clarify, please. Okay. Clarify, please. Thank you. All right. So we actually have some good cards here. So I know most people take this past, present, future when they do three cards, but that's not going to be how I do it. So we got the King of Wands here, which is talks about sort of a visionary and natural leader innovation, which that basically describes ATs. Like this is ATs energy. This is who they are. Very fiery and passionate, though. So I feel like for some people, this is kind of intense. So we have the Page of Wands, good news, bright ideas, um, Russian head first. So there's a lot of good things coming in for them, and they have nothing to worry about. It's like smooth sailing. Um, and Ten of Cups, which talks about happy families, blessing, and well-being. So there is a lot of good things coming in very rapidly for them. And it's pretty much all smooth. Like 2022 for them is going to be easy. It's like just smooth sailing, really. Uh, we do have the five of coins here in reverse, which talks about luck improving, positive change, and recovery. Um, I know there were a few, or not a few, there was a member that was sort of on leave for a while due to anxiety and depression. Um, and this talks about recovery. So this person is definitely doing a lot more recovery now in 2022, being back with the group and everything. Um, their energy seems a lot more stable and sort of um, like free flowing. It was very blocked. Like it was, so I'm actually kind of able to physically see what's happening to a degree here. Um, like if you could see the body and, um, like all the different chakra points in this person, everything was locked. Um, I don't know how this could happen, to be honest. I've never quite seen it like this. It's like there was no movement in energy. It was like in a giant knot of like, and it was very dark in color. It was, it's kind of wild. I've never quite seen something like this, but it's like opening back up now and things are starting to flow and it's not like this yucky, whatever, like almost black color. It's like kind of all sort of released. I don't quite know how this happened in the first place. Um, this could have been many, many, many years of buildup that have nothing to do with sort of being an idol, perhaps. This could have been happening way before then. But things are definitely like flowing a lot better. Like there's like it's still kind of a murky color, but it's not like stuck energy. It's just stuff that's still having to heal and i think the group itself is actually doing a very good job of helping this person heal and helping them like put in some positive changes into their life to make it easier for them so really these guys are a lot more mature for their age than i kind of would have thought because they're still fairly young. But there's like a very strong maturity with them. Like, I wouldn't expect to see them going out partying heavy. Yes, they're like young. And that's kind of what I would expect from young idols. But I don't get that from them. I mean, they very well could. But, I mean, that's part of that lifestyle. But they're not like heavy into that, for example. It's like, it's very mature and emotionally mature energy. Um, 
We also get the Four of Wands upright, which is celebration, community, and unity. Um, they're going to have a lot of success coming in. And people are going to definitely be celebrating that the whole group is all together again. And they're doing these great things in 2022. We also have the Judgment card here in reverse. So there could be still some self-doubts about how they fit into the industry, I think. Um, because they're very different um, than the average idol group, I'd say. Like, they're very into storytelling, which is not something I've seen a lot of. I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It definitely does. But it's definitely um, not that typical. So there may still be some figuring out they're doing with getting into the industry, like how they fit into the industry. Um, they need to be very careful about not repeating past mistakes. Like they've made mistakes in the past, maybe with each other. And they have sort of fix those issues but there's definitely a tendency that they could repeat if they are not careful so they need to be a little aware of their own natural tendencies to do things that they shouldn't if that makes sense so there's definitely somebody that knows they shouldn't act in a certain way or they shouldn't do certain things. But sometimes I still fall into that tendency. Which is good. It's sort of a self journey they're getting. Like it, it's sort of like a lifelong thing. Because we all have this tendency. Um, to sort of. Repeat our traumas in life. In sort of cycles. So, this is not what's happening. This is just an example. For example, somebody kind of grew up in a family where there was, where they had a parent that used to cheat all the time, and yet the other parent was constantly forgiving them, and therefore, in sort of a roundabout way, they also tend to attract partners that are not loyal to them. So you're sort of repeating a cycle, like generational cycles here, and you have to break them. So somebody really could sort of have a call to break a generational cycle, and this is not easy to do. This is a very extremely difficult and spiritual type journey, which can take a lifetime, and even at that, you still sometimes have those tendencies to repeat certain things and it's not a it's not a failure on your part it happens it's what you do after you make that mistake that matters for whatever reason i think they need to hear that that if you make a mistake that you know you shouldn't you know better and it gets, comes to a point of owning up to that mistake and apologizing this is very ego driven. I want to say whatever this sort of cycle is to where someone will say something they shouldn't or that they didn't truly mean, but their ego sort of gets in their own way where it's like they know they should apologize, but their ego's like, I'm not going to apologize. It's sort of like that. Somebody has like a big ego sort of issue that needs to be constantly dealt with this isn't something like it's one and done this is a lifetime of being able to control that tendency and understanding that so the clarification was the seven of coins which is persistence manifesting ideas and hard work pays off so i also kind of see this as if they put in the work for what they want as an idol, they will give it. I also see this, if you put in the work to sort of be a better person, 
or not to repeat your mistakes, the universe will sort of reward their behaviors. I mean, even if they make a small mistake, if they own up to that mistake, there's really nothing negative that would come back at them. But they have to be able to own up to it when it does happen. Um, and for, I think there's like, I think this is two separate people here. Whoever's dealing with like a generational type, um, I also people like to call them generational curses. You could call it like generational trauma. This person that's trying to break this cycle, um, they definitely will break this. They just have to keep pushing through it. Like it, it definitely feels like they always feel like the universe is trying to like sort of like basically shit on them all the time. Um, but if they keep pushing and pushing and pushing, they will break it and it will pay off in the end. Whatever they don't want to repeat, they're not going to. Um, this person could have a very strong earth energy. I, I don't think they're earth sign, but their moon or their rising could be earth. I just want to get a little bit more clarification on their general future beyond just 2022. Eh, okay. Can't have all good things, I guess. Not so many cards. I don't want the whole deck. I just want... Thank you. Okay. One card, please. One card. Two cards, I guess. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. The only bad thing we have is we do have the Page of Swords in reverse, which talks about malicious gossip, two-faced, all talk. So, again, this could be some sort of scandals that come up with sort of gossip and things that are not true. This is not true energy. This is just BS people make up. Um, however, they may not always win these sort of gossip issues that do happen. Sometimes people believe things that aren't true. Um, so that's a potential thing that may happen in like distant future for them. It's like, there will be some people that start gossip about them. And at some points they're going to have to just sort of like deal with it and let it just go its course because they're not going to win the battle to try to stop it. So we do also have the King of Cups here, which is non-toxic masculinity, uh, emotional maturity and compassion. So they're never going to lose that aspect to them, I would say. And as they mature, because I'm looking at this man here, he's a doctor here. Um, as they mature, it, this type of, this part of them is going to become a lot more noticeable and stick out in the industry. Like, they're not going to be influenced by some of the negative aspects of Korean culture. Like, they're going to go very much against the grain when it comes to sort of masculinity in general. They're never going to fall into sort of any sort of like sexist behavior, that's going to be it. Heck no, that's not happening with any of them. You will never see some sort of gossip or anything related to that because they are definitely very emotionally mature, especially if they are in a relationship or even a, like sort of a fling. They are very respectful of, I think, of women in general. So you will never see like any sort of like scandal regarding women. Um, and the scandals I do think that potentially could happen in the distant future aren't even true things. They're just sort of made up when people sort of get jealous um, is what I would say. And this could easily be people around them. They think they can trust, but they, but will later, on, go behind them and stab them in the back. So they should be careful of that because that is, well, <laughs> that's the industry in a nutshell, let's be honest. Like, um, it's very catty. 
And people who are not in that energy typically can sometimes get themselves easily hurt or in trouble because they trust the wrong people. Like show business in general is just sort of like an awful toxic place. So they definitely need to be careful of who they trust with what kind of information. They should definitely not share any sort of relationships outside of the group. Like if they have friends that are not part of their group, they should not tell them about any sort of relationship they're having with anybody in the future because they may very well try to sort of release that information before they want it to be public. That's a very specific situation. So that is something very specific that they need to be very careful of. Because there is somebody around them they think they can trust with information, but they cannot be trusted. And as soon as they think it's beneficial for them to like sort of spread some rumors, they will. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> there's somebody I don't like that energy and I can't tell if it's male or female it could be somebody that has like a very strong mix of both I don't know but it is like one particular person like I'm definitely it's like not like multiple people it's one person they all think they can trust but they cannot okay moving on from that because there's not much more I'm going to get from that. We also do have the Empress, which is nurturing, fairness, and growth. They have a lot of growth to come. And for, like, even way into the distant future here, they're still growing. Um, so, kind of good energy for them. They will kind of survive this prediction in uh, change in the industry. This is definitely one particular group that will have no problems with whatever this shift is. If I had to guess um, what this shift is at this point, given I've done quite a few groups in 2022 now that I've gotten this, um, that it's going to be a very strong push towards what is considered acceptable behaviors from an idol. Like any sort of like sexist type behavior is not going to be tolerated any sort of like like behavior that is not with somebody's best interest in mind that is malicious towards other people anybody who's very gossipy in the industry is not going to survive this is one group that doesn't really have that problem at all. So they pretty much have smooth sailing moving forward. And they're going to be, I would say, probably very successful. Like out of the majority of the groups I've read, their energy feels most stable and it doesn't seem like it can be influenced that much. Um, there are like some other groups I've recently done where their future is very flexible where every little choice they make will affect how they go moving forward and that's not really the case with the ats because it may be that they're very just sort of communicative for each other where they're all on the same page so miscommunication doesn't happen um that's a potential of why they're so stable um because i don't really believe in like type stuff typically but they definitely will get good energy from the universe because they're putting good energy out simple as that so let's see what angels ancestors and spirit guides have to say for ATs. okay whoa that's so many oh god okay so, we have the Direction Guardian, uh, Choose Your Path. Um, I'm really, they kind of know where they're going. 
like to me it isn't them choosing their path per se it's just sort of staying on your path like don't get easily swayed by what others are saying medicine mother okay well once again for an idol group we have somebody very powerful spiritually extremely powerful that gets a lot of information via dreams or other psychic means not just dreams like um somebody might actually have like channeling type abilities like i'm not talking about like the weird channeling you sometimes see on youtube where it's like people will suddenly start talking in different voices i'm not saying that's not legitimate but to me it always feels a little strange <laughs> but this feels like automatic writing. So when people talk about how powerful their music is, there's a reason for that. Somebody definitely can get information from the universe when they are writing. Kind of wild. Actually, really wild. Like... That's a very powerful gift for a musician. Alright, so we have the Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. Um, this is sort of kind of staying grounded within your emotions. Like not letting them go too far, but not ignoring them at the same time. It's very like scale balance type thing. Kind of Libra type energy I'm feeling in this card. Where it's like you have to have the scales perfect. Like, you don't want too much emotion, but you don't want to ignore your emotions at the same time. Oh, see here. Hello, more psychic energy. There could be multiple people. But that's highly plausible, I think, in this group, given how non-traditional of an idol group they are. Um, just sort of, the secure card is usually seen beyond your current situations. Like, for them, don't get tied up in small things that don't go your way. Um, look more in the big picture because things will fall into order on its own. Or if it seems like everything's going wrong, if you take a step back and you look at everything put together, there's so you can see the purpose of why things aren't going the way. Um... It's definitely a thing where it's sort of a communication to just step back, disconnect a little bit, and view the whole thing, and things will become much clearer. Oh, there's so many cards. All right, we got the great teacher. Uh, learn from spiritual experiences. Very strong spiritual energy coming in from, like, angels and ancestors and spirit guides. They have very strong guides. Very strong ancestors, and they are constantly getting communication from them. Um, and this is also sort of a calling not to be afraid of any sort of spiritual gifts that they have, and sort of embrace it. I, I do think they do a fairly well job of embracing things that they get. I don't think they fully understand it, but I don't think it's time yet. Like, they will definitely learn these spiritual things, just not right now. Um, Stargazer, set your sights higher. They should set some higher goals for themselves. Like, they should be dreaming bigger. Like, I feel like their sort of goals for themselves are, like, quite minor. But their guys and ancestors are sort of being like, you can do so much more. Like, be a, like set a little bit more of an ambitious goal. Try for something a little bit harder. See, energy I'm getting, like, try to be something a little bit more than just an idol group. Very odd message. I don't know how this is more than just an idol group. Um, like, very spiritual type energy. Somebody, like, naturally has a very spiritual type journey they're supposed to go through in this life. Um... And sort of like a calling to kind of sort of make their music around that journey as well. Ooh, very interesting. Okay. <laughs> We're going to leave it there because that's becoming a lot more personal. And as you guys know, I'm trying to avoid that. We also have the hunter here. Check down your fears and desires. So they need to be sort of 
looking into why maybe they're setting such low goals from themselves. Like, what are they afraid of? And when you look at your fears, you can kind of look at what you truly desire, which you have to first look at the bad aspects of yourself first. So Father Sky, um, trust in the unknown. Um, this doesn't really seem like a strong problem for them. Just sort of like reformation, like confirmation that they should just trust in the universe, that the universe is working in their side. And Lord, take charge and authority. Um, by trusting in the universe, that does not mean being passive. They need to sort of take control. If there's something they want to do, they need to like go up to sort of their manager or the CEO be like, hey, I want to do this thing. And they will be surprised on how willing everyone is to work with them when they communicate what they want to do. I think they have some sort of like fear of rejection um, when it comes to their ideas or things. If say somebody wants to try acting, they're afraid that the company will tell them no, and then they're just going to be super unhappy. But I don't think the company will. I think the company is going to be like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm glad you came up with this idea, and let's give it a shot. It's kind of like, I, I think they have sort of a view of almost kind of concern when it comes to, um, like, not concern, sort of. They had like their view of their company is more that it's a traditional K pop company where it's like very power dynamic control issue type thing. And that's not what I'm getting. Like this company doesn't feel like that. And they're very open to communicating with their artists. So I think ATs needs to get out of their own head a little bit and kind of be more direct when it comes to communicating their desires for their futures. And let's look. So this is straight from the universe here. Mm -hmm. oh, these cards are so big, so it makes it hard for me to control them. Okay. That's not a card I get typically. I've only gotten that card once before. So I'll have to look that one up. I don't need that many, just one will do, just one. Okay. All right, these are all very fitting to me. All right, so we have a solitude card, perspective, and judgment. I want to say when the solitude card, um, this is sort of a calling from the universe, is that they don't always have to be very outgoing or like center of attention type energies like you can pull back and be by yourself a little bit and nobody's going to change their views on you if you don't want to be that social that day and you want to go do your own thing that's okay like you don't always have to be together all the time is another message I'm getting. That's okay to need some alone time or to do things separately. Um, the other thing I would definitely say is that maybe they should sort of go on sort of a little trip. Not like a big trip where they have cameras following them or anything just a small trip where they're able to go out into sort of like nature good luck on that with korea that could be a little difficult um like almost sort of going somewhere where there's no people no cameras where they can just sort of sit and relax in nature and sort of connect with nature, which therefore connecting with the universe, um, which would definitely sort of help them. I'm also noticing this um, theme of like a butterfly. There's also a butterfly in a judgment card, and these colors kind of make me think of butterfly too. 
So butterfly may be very important to someone. It could be sort of like a spirit animal or spirit guide animal. It could also be, um, butterfly is also like symbolism wise or transformation. Um, so it's like sort of constantly transforming energy. Uh, let's look at this perspective card. Um, I haven't gotten it that much, so I don't honestly know that much about this card. Let's see. <laughs> Is there somebody that's really into painting? Um, cause I, I just noticed that easel in the back and the palette down there and somebody might really like painting um and sort of kind of a calling to express themselves through painting um that people really enjoy watching that <laughs> oddly pacific but okay okay so if something's not working for them or if something is like a little off i want to say within the group they need to take a step back again this goes back to what i was getting with it um ancestors and then spirit guides um deck is we have sort of taking a step back and changing your view about something. I think sometimes they can get a little tied, like caught up in small conflicts with each other. But if they take a step back, they would realize how small and insignificant these things are, or they can kind of see what's actually the root cause if they can disconnect a little bit. Um, somebody could have pretty strong empathic abilities, which, just to put this out there, empathic abilities are 100% like existent in every person. Okay, like there's nothing special about empaths. Everybody is an empath. Let me put that out there. When I say an empath, this is just somebody who naturally is more gifted in it than the average person. Like it's something everybody can learn. Everybody does learn it to a degree, but some people just choose to either misuse it or ignore it. So when I say this person, like, I kind of almost feel like a swarm of energy that sort of kind of piles around them, and they don't know always how to handle that, is what I'm getting. So whoever this person is, definitely the person kind of being called to paint and sort of put that energy into a painting, and it would definitely, I think, help tame the amount of information they tend to get. Somebody is definitely easily overwhelmed by their natural like abilities. All right, so when I'm dealing with a judgment card here, this also kind of is a perspective card because um, the whole story of this card, you see two women there uh, with chains wrapped around them. This is considered to be the same person, but this is how they actually are versus how they view themselves. Um, so this is definitely um calling towards like self image type energy and sort of the self restrictions they put on themselves and this is a call to sort of challenge those restrictions and sort of to heal whatever trauma causes them and release it uh because with the butterfly this has a lot to do with releasing i think trauma and sort of negative energy that they have within themselves So thank you guys for watching. That's really all I have for ATs. Um, fairly good energy. Still got some, a lot of growing and um, good things happening for them. There is still some healing that needs to happen, but we are all constantly going through a healing journey. So that's nothing I would consider negative. So thank you guys for watching and go check out some of the videos if you have time.